adding or subtracting complex numbers, one of the things you want to know about complex numbers is the format. You know how when I write the equation of a line, I write y equals mx plus b? I could say y equals 5 plus 2x, but that would be a little strange. We usually put the x's first. So same thing with complex numbers. The standard form is a plus bi, and the a is the real number, some number off the number line. You guys are gonna often see like two, negative seven, something like that, but technically square root of two would be fine. Any number off the number line. Now when I say plus, when you add a negative, plus a negative is minus, so this could be a plus or a minus. And then some number, which is also off the number line, but then i. So we're gonna put our variable last, which is a little unusual. Okay, but this is just standard form. And you're gonna combine when you're adding and subtracting the same way you would x's. So if this one right here, I have a complex number, a plus bi, one minus two i, plus another complex number, negative four plus i. And I'm gonna go ahead and distribute this positive through So if I distribute the positive, it's like positive one times negative four, which is minus four, positive one times positive i, it's plus i. Now we're looking for like terms. One and negative four are like terms, so I'm gonna be able to add those together. So one minus four is negative three. And then the i's are like terms, so negative two i's and one i makes negative i. I just color coded this just to emphasize again that the one and the negative four are like terms, and the negative two i and the i are like terms. So one minus four is negative three, negative two i plus i is negative i. Now if you wrote negative i minus three, it's correct, it's just not in the best format for your final answer because standard form is the number first and the i's last. Okay, so for this one here, I have the negative in the middle, so I'm subtracting these two complex numbers. You may wonder, like, why is that one a complex number if it's a plus bi? But technically, I have zero minus six i, and so the a would be zero and the b would be negative six. Okay, so if I subtract these two complex numbers, I'm going to distribute the negative through, and I have negative one times negative six i, so that's gonna make a plus six i. Now looking for what is alike, so the four is the only number up there, and then negative i and plus six i, those are alike. We're just color coding that. So these are the ones that can go together. So negative i plus six i is five i's. So I still have my four, and now I have five i. Again, if you wrote five i plus four, it's not wrong, it's just not in the format that we prefer like we capitalized the first letter of your name. I might be able to read that what your name is even if it wasn't capitalized, it would just look a little funny. Okay, so this last one here, I'm subtracting a couple of complex numbers, so this negative needs to get distributed through. So negative, positive, so that's going to be minus 6, and then negative, negative, so plus 8i. Looking for what is alike. So the negative 2 and the positive 6 are like terms. We're going to combine those, and that makes 4. And then 3i plus 8i makes 11i. So I have 4 plus 11i.